In a world of paid app and subscription, everything costing money. And it is fair enough if you're gonna use that application to making money. Like I have to use Premiere Pro to edit the video you're watching now. But it is nonsense to spending 45 bucks for a PDF editor every month. I don't think it is worth it. That is why in this video, I'm gonna share the PDF editors I'm currently using. It has all the features of Adobe Acrobat, but at just a quarter of the price. I'll walk you through its features and if you like it, I'll show you exactly how to install on your Mac. Start with the interface. I like any app that has a simple and straightforward homepage like this. There's only three areas that you need to focus on. The first one is where you import, create, or convert from any file into PDF. The second part is Quick Tune, where you get a quick access to the most popular and powerful tunes like AI Assistant or OCR PDF. And then right below that, there's a Reason 5 section where you can quickly continue working on your previous document. Now, let's say I want to edit this file. I will just double click on that. And very quickly, I can access to the different tune to edit this PDF. It's pretty similar to Microsoft Word or Excel where you can get most of the tune in the home tab. But of course, if you need to do a specific task like adding comments, edits, or converse, you can always go directly to that section. So in this example, I'll go ahead to edit this PDF by clicking to edit. And from there, I can select whether I want to edit everything or just the text or image. Let's select edit all. I'm gonna go ahead to select the part that I want to add more text. Let's say this part. I can freely to add more text. PDF already detects the front and matches perfectly. And after that, if I ever wanted to format any of these texts, I could do by select the text and chain right from this panel, which is so convenient. Now, in case you want to add more text outside of this text box, you could also click to add text and add to this part. Now for the image, beside the flexibility of reposition to anywhere I want, I could do a further customization, some things like flipping it to another direction, or all the features like locking the aspect ratio, so if I ever wanted to resize it, the image is not stretched out. And of course, if I want to change the picture to another picture, it's also very simple as well. Another feature which I also really like is arrangement where I can send the image to the background and when I drag it to this text, it right underneath the text which make my PDF more unique and more creative. And not just editing text, at image link, you can also do cropping page, adding watermark or changing the background to make your PDF even more unique. Let's start with cropping page. So you can just grab the edges and drag very simple like cropping an image or if you are a bit picky about size you want everything more precise you can also type in the exact dimension over the right panel and the preview will update in real time on the left corner so you can see exactly how it looks once everything feels right just click crop and you got yourself a brand new crop pdf moving to background which also are features that I usually use the most in the editing section to make my PDF look even more distinctive. So we're going to click on add background. So not just adding color, adding color is simple. I usually prefer to adding a picture on the background to make it more unique. So I'm gonna click on the file path and select this file right here. And when it's done, I just need to lower its opacity and well, it's look kind of cool right now. But you know what even cooler? The AI Assistant, it totally changed my workflow. You can start interact with it from the right taskbar. I usually asking it for a summary and read through it to save time with long form PDF. Or in another scenario where I need to create my own, for example, this is the paragraph which I write. I can click to polishing to change to another tone, like I want it more concise, I can click to this and the AI will quickly change to another paragraph with more concise tone. Or if your mother tongue is other than English, you could also use the AI translation, which is super helpful. Just select all of the text you want to translate and click to translate. Now translate to Vietnamese, which is my original language, and this absolutely making me more understandable. 
So these AI features is absolutely not a groundbreaking feature, but it does save me a lot of times. So we've been editing on a standard PDF, but sometimes I also need to work with scanned PDF and pictures, which are impossible to edit or search without the OCR feature from PDNOV. For example, I got a very low quality screenshot here. Now, if I want to edit it, I will need to convert it to the OCR features. All I need to do is click to create from file and import this file. And very quickly, PDNOV detect this is a scanned PDF and prompt me to perform OCR to make it editable and searchable. We're going to click on perform OCR and select the first option and just wait for a few seconds. And now just like magic, all text turn into editable and searchable. You could now do pretty much what we did earlier with this file, editing text, putting watermark, highlighting or adding image. You could do pretty much like a regular PDF. What an amazing features. Another feature which I used recently and I think you need to check it out as well is encryption. Because we are living in the world where cyber attacking and data leaking happen just every single day. So to prevent that, you could go ahead to protect, click to encrypt. Now you can set an open password, a password when they need to put when they want to open this PDF. Or you can set editing and paid extraction password very detailed. If your files is highly confidential, you could do like action, block the action for prints, copy, comments, inserting, deleting page, filling form and comments and say, let's say one, two, three and save. Another interesting feature is mark for redaction. And this will be in case you want to publish this PDF, but you don't want to reveal your personal information. You can select any text, apply the redact. Just remember this chain is permanently, so make sure you review before you're applying. Continue. Okay. So if you're watching until this part of the video, you probably want to install it. Let me show you how. So the first thing that you need to do is click on the link in the description and click on free download on this website. And then double click on the installer one is complete and click open. Now click agree to the privacy and license and click continue. PNOV is a very light application. So the installation operation is really fast. So this is one of the things that I really like. And really fast after just four minutes, we got the installation complete and the application open automatically. To unlock all the features, you will have to log in using your account. If you haven't created the account with this software, you will have to create using your Apple account or your Google account. So choose either of that. And now I will take a little bit time to uh, review its plan. This PDF has different plan from the monthly plan to lifetime license to one year license. I would say the lifetime license is the most popular, also the most valuable package. It also have 82% off, which is unbelievable. So I will recommend you to go with this package. It is very valuable in the long term. You got a lot of uh, AI credit and lifetime free update. 20 gigabyte cloud storage is another thing to think of as well. But if you are unsure if this software will meet your expectation or it will fit your workflow, you could go ahead to try with free trial. It is no time limit. And the thing I really like about this software is like it's offer and unlock all of the features so you basically with the free trial, you could you could try all of its feature. There's no like limitation. So you go get the feel of the premium license. And once you can decide, you can go ahead to try one month or one year. But again, I think the best valuable package is the lifetime license. So that is pretty much uh, everything for today. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you soon on the next video.